is us on the beautiful River Mick on an early spring day. It's, the Mick is a really important tributary for the Dee because uh, it has uh, spring fish come back to the Mick. So fish come into the river here as early as June. So that's our really early running component. So this project is all about nutrient restoration. So one of the, the, the big issues on the Mick, as with a lot of upland tributaries on the, on the Dee, uh, is they can be very nutrient poor. 50, 60 years ago, there'd have been thousands of salmon coming back to the, to the river and into tributaries like this. They'd all be spawning, and when they spawned, 65, 70% of them would die here uh, where they'd spawned. Those carcasses were vitally important. They fed the next generation. We've really uh, struck on, on this trial, uh, following on from fantastic work was, that was done in the Conan. Uh, and they found that by putting salmon carcasses into the river, it doubled the salmon biomass in the river and it tripled the invertebrates, the, the, the food that the fish were, were feeding on. They moved on from there and they started saying, well, can we use uh, salmon carcasses that are in short supply? Can we use something else as a proxy for, for salmon carcasses? So they struck on the idea of using uh, salmon feed pellets. In this trial, we are using deer leg carcasses. What we're using is a, a waste product from the deer that are culled here as part of the deer management. So the, the lower leg, the foot effectively, uh, gets taken off the carcass when the carcass is processed and normally that's buried in a deep pit. We're using those feet to put back into the river. Uh, the feet have got a lot of phosphate in them, which is basically what the salmon carcasses have in them. And we're using those feet as a, um, a substitute for the salmon carcasses. And the hope will be that if we can uh, increase the insect growth and therefore increase our, our fish, we'll be sending uh, fitter and healthier salmon smolts to sea. Mm -hmm.